Hi, my name is Peter. I'm from GVS Poland. In this tutorial, I would like to introduce you how to create scenes in the ETS program. Uh, for uh, this reason, we're going to use uh, a free device made by KNX. Uh, first device will be an actor. Uh, that's a multifunction actor uh, AMMA series. Uh, to recall the scene, we will use the uh, KNX push button, also made by GVS. That's a sensor with uh, uh, three rockers or six buttons. And also, I'd like to introduce you how we can uh, connect uh, uh, presence sensors uh, to the scene to recall the scene. Uh, so let's start it. Uh, I already uh, I put the uh, devices into the project so we can have them we, we have them here and uh, we're gonna start to configure it very important uh, very important uh, function is uh, for a scene is to, to proper plan the scene so I prepared a, a short table which describe uh, the six scenes uh, we we're gonna to program the first scene is a scene for leaving the house uh, that uh, will close all the blinds and turn off all lights. Then another scene, scene number two, will be uh, come back home or return uh, that will uh, just open all blinds. Uh, then we will have two more scenes just uh, for operating the all blinds that will be a blinds up to open all the blinds and blinds down to shut all the blinds. Uh, then uh, the fifth scene we will create uh, the good night uh, that will uh, shut all the blinds and turn off two lights. And the last uh, scene will be a movie that will uh, uh, open the blinds till 50% or close the blind till 50% and it will turn on all lights. It is very important to uh, to write down the scenarios for scenes like this because uh, it will make uh, a lot easier for us to prepare the, the scenes. So let's start it. As a first device we're gonna program the, the multifunction actuator. And let's gonna start it. Multifunction actuator is here. We go to the parameters. Okay, we're gonna program uh, uh, four channels for uh, lights and uh, four channels for uh, for blinds to operate the shutters. So how to how to create it? Uh, first of all, for channel functions, we have to uh, choose uh, what type of the of the device we're gonna uh, operating. Uh, for uh, lights, will be a switch. For shutters, it's a curtain. Uh, let's go to the first uh, output. Uh, normally we don't have a scenes, but if you will go uh, down to the bottom, you have something like a special function of the channel. If you will make it enable, there's another uh, pop-up windows uh, show, and then you can choose uh, the scene to, uh, to be enabled. The scenes are here, and now it uh, it gives us uh, opportunity to uh, to assign the scenes uh, for exactly for this uh, for this uh, output. So this is the output number one for a light. Let's recall our table for a line. So uh, the scene number one should uh, turn off all the lights. Uh, scene number five should turn off two lights let's let's pretend that this light will be one of those two and scene number six needs to turn on all the lights so let's try to program yeah, okay channel number one uh, uh, assigned us the, uh, the scene there will be scene number one and scene number one is turn off the light so it means that the relay has to be in the open contact scene number five is also turned off so 
Again, the standard output value needs to be open and scene number six needs to turn on the light. So we have to close the relay. And uh, that's how you program and the separate outputs for a scene. Uh, those, the output number two, three and four are already programmed. I did it before. So now let's move to the, to the curtains, to the blinds. And let's do exactly the same. Um, it's a little bit separate window. The scenes are here as a default. So let's make it active. And here also we need to uh, program scenes. Uh, for shutters, there are all, uh, all six uh, scenes are, are some, somehow relate to the, to the blinds operation. So uh, scene number one is uh, down. Scene number two and three is a uh, lines up, four five down, and scene number six movie fifty percent. So let's set it like this. Okay, scene number one, it's down. Shutter position hundred percent equals bottom. So let's make it like this. Scene number two is up. So zero, scene number three is up. So, oh sorry, uh, so zero. Scene number four is down. Scene number five is also down. And the last one, scene number six, is the shutters to half, 50%. Okay, that's how we uh, set the actuator uh, for scenes. Uh, as you can, as you can see in the group objects, the scenes are shown here, and that's a, a one byte value. And then we have to connect it to the group address, but we'll do this later. Okay, so um, another device we need to configure is our push button sensor. Uh, that push button will recall the scenes. So let's go to parameters and I have to do this separately for every, every button. Uh, okay, so normally as a default, it's a, it's a switch. Uh, we're gonna change it and we have a, a scene control function when you chose it choose it you have uh, you have some more you know uh, you have some more options here uh, but uh, we just do need uh, we just need to recall the, the scenes uh, just for our project uh, as you can see on the table it will make this uh, much easier scene number uh, one two three and four and five and six uh, corresponds to the buttons so the button number one will be scene number one button number two is set as a scene two and so on okay and the last um, mm, last device we're gonna program is uh, is our uh, light sensor uh, why we need to program the light sensor, the motion sensor, sorry, motion sensor? Because uh, I would like to uh, open all the blinds when I will return home. And uh, I don't need necessary to use any push button and I need to, to have an option that this blinds will open automatically. Uh, when I when I will return home, so the the easiest way to do this is to to uh, configure it with the present sensor, and that will send a signal that you're already back home, and uh, it will just act uh, uh, recall the scene. Okay, how to do this? Uh, if you will go to the present sensor, uh, you can set. Uh, a lot of the parameters uh, to act when it detects the motion presence uh, uh, to configure it this as a HVAC uh, presence detector 
every single uh, every single configuration has uh, uh, has a begin of motion and end of motion, uh, and normally it's on. But here you have also the scene recall. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, program this device that uh, when the present will be detected, presence will be detected, then it will um, uh, then it will send, and that, then it will recall the scene. Uh, so we go to the presence and begin of present should recall the scene. What scene we should recall? Uh, again, our one our table. A scene number two. So let's recall the scene number two when the presence will start. That that's create also the uh, the group object, which is here one byte object. Recall the scenes if presence detect detected. Uh, okay. So we have all three devices configured. Now we need to connect this into the group addresses. Uh, it will work if you will put all those parameters we just created uh, into the one group address. However, in the larger projects, uh, it might be a little bit complicated and messy. Uh, so for this project, I separate uh, the blinds and the lights uh, group addresses. So let's start <clears throat> with blinds uh, and with the push button. Okay, the push button has uh, six buttons and the blinds are need to react on all the six buttons. So we will just uh, sign all six buttons and we're gonna move it to the blinds. That, that will recall our scenes. Uh, for lights, we have, let's go to the table again, we have uh, push button number one, five and six to recall the scene. So for a light, it's a one, five and six. As you can see also here uh, in, the, in the group object, we have uh, two, two uh, uh, scenes. Uh, different scenes for push button number six and I'll open the parameters and I will explain you what we have here for every scenes in this push button we can uh, choose one of those two options uh, recall the scenes means that we will make the scene active or store scene uh, what means the store scene for all those devices which are assigned to actual this scene we can change the configuration as a user uh, it means that if we will set the blinds for instance for 20 percent open instead of the 50 percent open as it's uh, in the scene program uh, we can do this by other uh, other push buttons or, or other uh, drivers uh, and if we will store that scenes next time uh, when we will recall the scene, the blinds will go to 20% instead of 50%. So we did it in the two way. Recall the scene is a short operation. It will recall the scene number six. And when we will press this for this button for longer than two and a half seconds, that's uh, the long, long press is here it will store the new parameters of scenes so the scenes can be editable by the end user uh, okay so uh, that means that we have to connect this long press for a scene to store it also to the lights and we need to connect it also to the blinds which we just did okay so we have we have the the, all the parameters to recall the scene from the push button. We need to recall the scene also from our presence sensor. Uh, so our presence sensor needs to open the blinds when we return the home. So it will connect it to the blinds here. Okay. And 
Now the last thing, we need to connect the uh, executive function of the actuator. So let's go to the actuator and we have here output number one to four for lights and output the rest of the outputs are for uh, curtains. So scene we go here, scene we go here. Come on. A little bit slow, but that's okay. And the last scene for a curtain is here. Okay, so those four curtains are connected. This one not yet. Okay, and now and the lights, and also we're gonna connect the scenes for our lights. We have scene number one. That's it. Now we just need to send the configuration to the devices and it will work. Okay, thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, hear you next time.